Guys, welcome back with the Plat. For Platypus is the name. Welcome to another My Hero Academia video. So, today, there is a new banner. Is it a real, like, special, brand new All Might banner? No, but kinda. <laughs> Not really. Um, but there is a new special banner up right now. A special support card event has arrived. Now, guaranteed to get a rate up support card. I mean, just look at the, let's look at the details, right? So we can see this comes with a guaranteed, if you pull a six star at a 3% rate, by the way, that's pretty high. You get guaranteed uh, All Might active. So there is um, more if we look here, like All Might obviously has other cards here. These are his passives. But if we come here and we look at the um, general pool, actually, um, you can see that you can get like, look at, you see this giant pool of six stars, right? All of these are, you know, there's a ton of them, but you can get the active All Might in this pool. So he is in the general pool um, if you want to get him. But normally, what's weird, it's like you can't um, target him, right? Maybe you can't target him specifically because they knew this was coming out. Like, you could target the specific characters. You could target the cool passives. Obviously, this is the one that I'm interested in. And you could basically tar uh, target all the passives, but none of the active cards. Um, which is like lame, but also kind of fine. You could do this if you don't want. So like if you pick something like this, right? Like I have, like I'm way less likely to find an All Might active. Like it might literally be impossible, um, but it's okay because that's the card I want. So he is in the general pool, keep that in mind. Um, but let's go take a look at it. What exactly does this card do? All right. All Might spins his body to create a tornado that engulfs surrounding enemies and deals damage equal to 740% attack. This is at level one. So realistically, this is where you're gonna be for a long time. Now you might be able to get to level two if you get a dupe of it, and that's gonna be 1,110 attack, and obviously at rank four, which is ridiculous amount of dupes you need to get, right? Because you need one to get one, then you need a second one to get to two, then you need two more to get the three. And then I think you need three more. So you might need like seven dupes, maybe eight dupes, um, depending on if it goes from you need two you need to need three or you need two to need four to get this. So this is probably not gonna happen for most players. Um, and this doesn't really matter, right? Things just level up and you get a lot of stuff here, but it's just linear. I don't think it, it's better on these six star cards. So what you're doing here is All Might's gonna come down and he's gonna create his tornado and he is going to kick the shit out of somebody. By the way, cool outfit, All Might. This is not his normal outfit, as you can see right here. Um, maybe this is like American All Might or something like that. I'm not actually sure. Guys, let me know about the lore uh, down below. Um, so the real question is, should you pull on this? Well, this is what's interesting. This actually uses a new kind of, um, not new, but if you look at everything else, right? There is event. So is it, what's the beta will look at this? There is currently, you know, normal pulls. There is normal support card pulls. There are special event pulls. And then there are special event support card pulls. This one is not any of those things. It's its own separate thing. You can see here it is an active R&D ticket. So one cool thing, it, it, it's a positive or a negative, right? It depends. So the fact that this is a 3% means that, you know, if you're going to do 33 pulls, there's a reasonable chance that you can get this card. You're not guaranteed by any stretch. Don't think I've guaranteed you in 33 pulls that you can get it. But it's because it's like, what? what's the normal chance, right? On a on a unit. Like if we go look at All Might. The, on All Might, it's a 1.2%, right? So you're over double. You're almost triple three times more likely per pull to get this card than you are in All Might itself. Now, obviously All Might as a unit is probably better than an individual card, but this card is gonna be insanely powerful. Um, it really is going to come down to how much free to play currency you have. Um, and so it, it, like I was saying, it's just like a double edged sword, right? If you put your things towards this, the pity does not get contributed to anything else, right? This is its own polls. The pity here is different. The pity here is different. Well, you can't see on this one cause I haven't done it in a while, but, uh, the pity here is shared with all my, but these pities are all separate. So this is its own pity with its own resource, right? So if you put like. I don't know, like 40 into this and you don't get what you want, it's still gonna carry over to the next active pity. Now, the thing is, if you're putting poles into this and you don't get what you want and you don't want the next active, it isn't gonna go over to like the next character, right? So you might be better served pulling for a character instead of this. It's the same exact price, right? You're not getting much of a discount. So um, it really depends on, would you be willing to get this card instead of potentially getting the character? I don't want like, should you pull? I don't like telling people to spend money. It's so hard in a gotcha. 
why am I making a video called should you pull and then having issues with it? The thing is, it depends on someone's financial situation. Because this is a third the price of a character on average, I think it's probably worth it to get one. This is pretty powerful and you could always switch it to character to character to character to increase their BP. Uh, you know, to let you sneak into some fights. You're like, oh, your BP's too low. Like, hold on a second. Here's an extra 600 BP or something. Um, but also, this is just a powerful ability that you could use all the time. And it's also really going to help your autoing because you're, the auto unit will use it a lot. So personally, I do find the value in it. But I, the main reason that I have not yet pulled on it myself is there's not really a good um, top up. Like there's the permanent pack here. For $4, you get five pulls. And for $20... Like, this is a worse deal, right? This is like a worse deal. For four times the cost, you get three times this. Like, this is bad. And then here, for uh, ten times the cost, you get four times this. Like, this is such a bad deal. This is very bad. Please do not do this. Like, look at this. This is a dollar per pull. That's pretty reasonable, right? That's not bad at all. Uh, and but there's no time pack like all might you can see that I, he has the piece purchase one i bought all those um he doesn't have these so the only reason i'm not in love with this but look at 50 dollars for 20 poles like what that's just like i don't and this one you at least have a chance it's literally like a one percent chance like if you look it's like a 10 percent chance to get one of these one of these you have a 90 percent chance to get 50 hero coins uh kind of scummy the way they present it I'll, I'll admit um but like something like this five bucks to get five poles in a way, you're getting a 3% chance five times. Like, that's not crazy if you got it, but you're probably not going to. Um, I would say do something like this. You know, put in a little bit of money, and then if you get lucky, you get lucky. If you don't, it might be better saved for, like, a better reward. So, like, again, if you have free-to-play currency, I think this is pretty good, um, actually. I think this is not a bad pull with free-to-play currency. I'm starting to ramble on now, but the point is, if you're going to be spending direct money to buy coins to get this... I don't think that this is very good because there isn't really any bundles that are worth the damn right now. But outside of this one $5 one that you can only do one time, right? These two are both pretty much scams, I think. I mean, unless you're going to be... But yeah, not really. The All Might one had like 10, right? You had like... You had this exact bundle, but you could buy it 10 times or something like that. And that was pretty great, right? That was... A, well, it was like a 50 pulls for um, 50 bucks. Maybe it was 100 bucks. Maybe it was $10 for that, but... Point is, it was a much better deal. In fact, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Let's buy this right now. And we'll do five pulls on here for you. And uh, But basically, you know, I think I've said everything I got to say about it. Sorry, this video is rambly at this point. I just, I get a little less confident when I'm talking to people about how they should spend their own money, you know? All right, let's go here. Special, all night. We got five. Let's do it. We'll click through it to make them fast. Hey, you know, thank you. Uh, the four stars are always good, too. Right? It's not like you don't get anything. You still are getting uh, stupid cards. Three. Four. Uh, the screen went dark for a second. I was like, what the fuck? All right. One more. We give the power of... We did this in one of our other videos. We're going to draw an animal. Okay. This is my cat, Bento. He's got a bent tail. And he, I found a bug on his on his neck, so or on his chin, so I'm going to put a little bug there, and I got to take him to the vet. All right, Bento, you let me down. Anyway, so, yeah, we didn't get lucky there, but you know what? Uh, so you can see that the pity here, let's just make sure that the pity isn't shared between anything, right? Yeah, it's its, it's, its own pity, and that's kind of fun to... Like, if they have a $5 bundle every time that comes out, eventually you're for you know you're going to get one of those really, really good cards in the future as they have more of these because the pity does carry over and other things anyway guys that's it for platypuses for platypus i will see you next time thank you for watching peace out